Hello friends, you're watching Inner Today Tech and in this video we're going to unbox the Vivo V7. It's the smaller version of the Vivo V7 Plus that was launched a few months ago. Which means that it has a smaller display and it also has a smaller battery. But all of the specs of the smartphone are the same. Now of course it's also a little cheaper compared to the V7 Plus. While the Vivo V7 came at 22,000, the V7 comes at 19,000 and all of the specs are the same. So let's quickly unbox the device and then we'll take a look at the full specs of the smartphone. The Vivo V7 also comes with a 24 megapixel front camera. And we're going to take a look at the camera quality that the phone offers both on the front and the back. So this is the device guys. Uh, it is uh, in gold color. The fingerprint scan as you can see is placed at the back. And one more USB is the bezel-less design that you also get on many smartphones nowadays the Oppo F5, the Honor 9i and many other smartphones are coming with a bezel-less design but uh, we have seen that the utility of uh, the full screen hasn't been taken to into advantage by all the manufacturers so first up in the box is the start guide with a clear case that you can snap on the phone which will allow it to show off the color but still slightly protect the phone okay next is the adapter which very much looks like that of a samsung galaxy phone and the output current is 2 amperes we will let you know in the full review how fast it charges the phone then there is a micro usb cable uh, which is of good quality but not very long then there is the earphones most of the companies don't offer earphones in their box but Vivo does and this is the earphones you get with them not anything great but then good utility thing it has a mic and a button to end the call and they are earbud style earphones and not in-ear type okay at the bottom it has a 3.5mm jack on the left a primary microphone a micro usb port and a speaker at the top it has the secondary microphone at the back a single camera with an LED flash and on the left is the SIM tray. The V7 also doesn't have a hybrid SIM tray as you can see. So you can add two SIM cards and expand the storage as well. While we turn on the device let's take a look at the full specifications of the Vivo V7. Vivo V7 comes with a 5.7 inch IPS LCD panel and it has a resolution of 720p. The display has an 18 is to 9 aspect ratio like the Honor 9i and many other phones that come with the bezel less design. Then under the hood the phone runs the Qualcomm Snapdragon 450 chip which has an octa-core 1.8 GHz CPU and Adreno 506 GPU. The phone has 32 GB of storage and 4 GB of RAM. The storage can be expanded to 256 GB via micro SD card. The phone packs a 3000 mAh battery which is of course smaller than the 3300 mAh battery on the Vivo V7 Plus and it runs the Android Nova 7.1.2 out of the box but then again it has its own UI on top that is called the Fun Touch UI at the back it has a 16 megapixel camera with f2.0 aperture and face detection autofocus while at the front it has a 24 megapixel camera again with an f2.0 aperture okay now let's set up the device So we've set up the Vivo V7 and the first thing I would like to show you is how fast the fingerprint scanner is. It works very fast and as soon as I put my finger on the back of it, it comes to life. But then again it's a rear mounted fingerprint scanner and I, I have a little difficulty finding where it is placed. My finger naturally rests here and since this area is completely flat, I'm not able to locate the fingerprint scanner very easily. This may change when you snap on a cover but without it it's really difficult to find the fingerprint scanner okay another thing is that the phone is made completely out of metal it has a metal unibody design and there is a 2.5d curved corning gorilla glass 3 on the top of the screen so it looks pretty sturdy the phone should serve your purpose for two to three years given uh, a very rugged use but then again it's uh, very light as well so we'll have to wait for the complete testing to find out uh, the phone 
has any issues with the build quality because it doesn't flex as well when I apply pressure at the mid portion uh, which is where most of the phones falter so so far the the quality seems to be quite nice but uh, we'll also do some uh, testing uh, later and let you know in the full review the antenna lines are also placed at the top and the bottom in a very different fashion I won't say this is the best way to integrate antenna lines uh, and that they look beautiful but then again it's a unique design and I would say Vivo has done something different in this aspect but we'll talk about the interface after we take a look at the front camera of the phone and of course also the display quality so we're running a 720p video on YouTube because that is the maximum resolution the phone supports being a 20,000 rupee device it is not a good resolution and if you were to look at the lower price range as well most of the phones come with a full HD display right now but again at that price I would ask for a full HD screen one thing is that you get the expansion button on YouTube to fit the screen which is missing in most of the bezel less phones I've seen that this option is not available even with higher end phones like the oneplus 5t so this is where vivo has done a good thing with the software and it has given a crop to fit button on the youtube so that you can actually utilize its bezel less design as for the viewing angles they don't look bad and the colors are also quite sharp but then again the 720p display uh, is not a great thing to have in this price but then again we'll have to see if vivo v7 excels in other things as well to compensate for this now let's take a look at vivo v7's front camera in good light it captures accurate colors but the details don't justify the resolution that is they don't appear to be taken from a 24 megapixel camera there's a hint of noise and pixels break when you zoom in though in low light the selfies have good clarity so it balances out but if you were to compare it with the Oppo F5, the camera lacks that kind of EV range and the ability to capture details. But we will leave that for our final testing. On the other hand, we found its rear camera to be much better than that on the Oppo F5. It captures good colors and indoors as well, the clarity and the light captured by the sensor is amazing. The camera's autofocus and shutter is also quite fast. So we found that most photos that were taken by us were usable in the first go. They're usually not blurred and they have very good details. The camera interface also looks very much like that of the iOS. There is the live photo option when you can just hold down on the photo to take a look at the live photo, which is very much similar to that of the iOS. If, but if you would want a feature in, on Android in this price range, you might want to go with the Vivo V7. Now talking about the software, the Vivo V7 runs the Android 7.1.1 with the Fun Touch OS on top, which makes it look very similar to that of the iOS. For example, to toggle Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, you need to swipe from the bottom to get this menu. And the recent apps are also uh, cleared from this area. Then again, there is no app drawer on the phone so all the apps are present directly on the home screen there are several third party apps as well on the phone as you can see there is the wps office and the flipkart app and there are several others including the uc news that make clutter the software on the device so this is the vivo v7 guys if you have any questions let us know in the comment section below also if you have liked this video hit the thumbs up button and share this video with your friends subscribe to our channel to get latest videos delivered directly to your inbox thank you for watching